Rosa joining us live now from an area that is under evacuation orders. What are you dealing with there, Katie? Yeah, that's absolutely right. And so we actually moved back to the other side of the freeway from where we were earlier. And if you look back behind me, you can actually see some of these businesses that are on fire. And Andy, you own one of these businesses. Tell me about what happened this morning. It was about 3 a.m. Somebody texted me to my cell phone, told me it's better you move out and go in towards south because I was living somewhere around here in Fountain Grove area. And when I was moving out, I was with my wife, drove by around my shop. I saw my truck was already fire. And fire was not coming even close to the building yet. But I called fire department and 9-11. They told me we are going to send someone over. And two couple of hours they show up. It was around 5.30, 6 o'clock. There was a couple of people. They start working on it, and then I said, why well, you don't have enough people? They said, we are very short-handed. We are waiting for some people to come to help us. And this is what happened now. The whole building is burned out, and I have multiple tenants in that building, and I have over $300,000 inventory in that building. I'm in this business for 22 years in town. Now, hopefully, insurance take care of me for this situation happened. So what were the other businesses that were there? Can you tell us a little bit about this block? Uh, one, right in the corner, there was a gun shop. Uh, and next to it was Herbalife. Both of them, they were my tenant. And there was another place uh, next to it. There uh, was uh, a sport guy He's just selling a sport stuff. So where do you go from here? Uh, just I'm waiting until fire go down and then I will go home. Have you heard anything about your house? We've heard that Fountain Grove area is... is um... Not yet, but when I was uh, leaving the house, I saw some houses was burned out already, and I didn't go back to the house yet. Well, good luck, and we are so sorry that this is happening. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Andy, thank you for your thank time you. today. And so we did actually just speak with uh, Lieutenant Jonathan Cox. He's one of the Cal Fire spokespeople. And what he told us so far is that this is nowhere near contained. Actually, if you wouldn't mind, Battalion Chief, coming back over and kind of giving us an update. So what are we looking at back here in terms of the action that's going on by these firefighters? Yeah, so you're looking at a commercial structure uh, that, that was obviously ignited as this fire ran through the north part of Santa Rosa. And these firefighters here are taking a defensive attack, really just trying to hold this road. And, and this is this is the uh, tactic that they're using to try to stop the progression from building to building ignition that we're seeing on this fire. Uh, so these firefighters are using a, a large deck gun to, to cool this structure down. Uh, and this is one of many commercial and industrial structures that are burning right now in the northern part of Santa Rosa. And then can you give us an idea of where else we're seeing some active fires right now that Cal Fire is really focusing on? Yeah, so the fire is still pushing into the city of, uh, of Santa Rosa, both in the north and kind of uh, east side of the city. Um, so there, there are still some pretty significant wind gusts up in the hill and coming down. Uh, so everywhere along the 101 corridor, uh, and basically north Santa Rosa is being impacted still by this fire. Uh, it, it, it still is very dynamic. Uh, and, and very active, as you can see. What are, what are we seeing and hearing right here? Yeah, so you're seeing some sort of material ignite and burn in there. Uh, you're getting a lot of materials uh, that are vaporizing and combusting, uh, gas lines, uh, uh, different, different uh, materials they may store in the structure, uh, and uh, obviously some explosions occurring as well. Um, are we in danger right here? Do we need to start thinking about yeah, moving I back think based on this? Good time to end the interview and step back for a second. Okay, so guys, sorry about that. We are going to have to actually move our position right now. So I'm going to send it back to you. It's just too dangerous for us to be here right now. Absolutely. We'll uh, we'll get back to you as soon as we can.